Hey everyone, Big Pooly back for a brand new Monday Blu-ray shopping trip. Yes, it's getting closer to Christmas. We've only got one or two more Blu-ray Mondays left before Christmas. Today is another biggie. Lots of goodies out today, so it's an HMV trip today, mainly. Uh, so we probably won't do Poundland or CEX. I'm going today to Blue Water, yes. It's probably a really bad idea because it's going to be probably really busy. But um, HMV, Disney Store, might stop into Tesco's on the way back because, like, hopefully two o'clock in the afternoon. There may be an inkling of anything on the shelf if the woman's got out of bed. But what have we got today? Wow, there are two biggies out today, which I probably will see in Tesco's, believe it or not, on Blu-ray. We have Tenet, yes, the Christopher Nolan mind bender. Uh, we have that on Blu-ray and 4K as well. We also have two different steelbooks. We have a regular steelbook and an Amazon exclusive steelbook and also an HMV first edition. So they've gone all out with Tenet. Fantastic. So hopefully we'll get to see, hopefully, pretty much all of those, apart from the Amazon one, of course. We've also got Crash on Blu-ray and 4K from Arrow. Haven't seen that film. Uh, I might pick up Crash today, but not that one. Because I looked on the uh, YouTube for the trailer and it threw up the 2004 one with Matt, Matt Dillon, I think it was, and Brendan Fraser and Sandra Bullock. And I was way more impressed with that one than the 1996, is it David uh, Cronenberg one? Yeah, the, that one, the one that's out on Arrow today, that didn't really do anything for me. It looked a bit horrible. Uh, but the other one got me gripped, so I might pick that one up. Excuse me, just have my breakfast. Also out today is Tremors with the giant worms uh, on Blu-ray and 4K from Arrow. Uh, we also have Screamers ah, on 101 Films. Uh, the Witches, that's the other big one out today. This is the remake. I've already picked up the regular one, the old one from the 80s, 80s or 90s. Um, but uh, I haven't seen either, so maybe I'll do a back-to-back -back on that one. Uh, we also have Ghost of Mars, plus Breakout and Ministry of Fear from Indicator Films. Doctor Who Series 7, limited edition. Uh, there's a couple of Criterions. There's Mouchette, I think it's or Mouchetti, whatever it's called, and The New World. I think that one's from Terence Malick. Uh, we have Devil in a Blue Dress, Road Games and S A Soldier's Story from Indicator. Uh, plus we have a couple of those fabulous films ones that were supposed to be like $9.99 and I always found them about $15.99. Dragon, the Blue Bruce Lee story, Cape Fear and Born on the 4th of July. So all reissues on those. There's a Bee Gees Blu-ray out. And of course, the big expensive one today is the Game of Thrones 4K Steelbook set, which is actually still available on Amazon for 250 Nicaroonies. Yes, so if you want any of that lot, wow, get your wallet out or your purse. But it's just coming up to 10 o'clock, so let's get on the road. Let's get up to the place where the water is coloured. That's right, it's blue water. And uh, I've got my mask. I've got all bits and pieces. And uh, let's go and have a look, see what they've got in the HMV. And we'll probably pop into the Disney store as well, as long as the crowd's not too big. It's going to be big, isn't it? It probably is. Plus, also, Blue Water is notorious for sitting down and eating food. So I don't quite know what they're doing with that, because you can't. Because it's uh, Blue Water is in Tier 3. So I suppose everybody just hoards around McDonald's. <laughs> Hopefully not too many people will be hoarding around my jacket potatoes, my spud you like, because I think I'll grab one of those. Yes. Fantastic. Let's get on the road. See you at Blue Water for some Blu-ray hunting. Oh, yes. Ten it backwards, baby. Oh, 
Okay, so just arrived up here at Blue Water. It's not too bad actually, quite a few parking spaces and the road wasn't too busy as well. So uh, overcast, cloudy. It was a little bit sunny on the way up, but uh, anyway, at least it's not raining or snowing. <laughs> okay, so let's get into Blue Water and go to our first stop. It's got to be HMV, isn't it? Oh, yes. <gasps> Physical media, baby. Okay, sir, HMV, let's pop in and have a look. Okay, people, so on the new film section, look what we've got. Tenet. That's right, what's Tenet backwards? It's Tenet, yes. There's the Blu-ray for £14.99. Down here we have the 4K, looking all lovely and 4K-ish. £24.99. Very nice. And right across from it, we have the HMV First Edition. Unfortunately, they've only put a dummy box on the shelf, yes. Uh, down here we have the new Witches with uh, Anne Hathaway. I haven't seen this one, but looking forward to it. Right down the bottom we have Tremors, the seven movie collection on DVD for £24.99. And up here we have Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. How much? 20 quid? That's a bit steep, in it? Blimey, I'll leave that. And here we have the Doctor Who complete seventh series. This is not the uh, limited edition that comes out, I don't believe. I think this is just the standard edition. And here we have The New World from Terence Malick. I really enjoyed the thin red line. I thought it was a fantastic war film. So I was tempted to pick this one up. So I don't know yet. I might pick it up a little bit later. But the best of the year so far has got to be one thing. Terminator Dark Fate. Well, HMV say it. Down here, what have we got? We have got the Train to Busan trilogy from last week. Three films, all in one little box set for £28. Very nice. And on the television section, we have Monkey. That's right. The old series from the 80s. One penny short of 100 quid. Uh, I might wait for that to come down. On the 4K Ultra HD, we have a lovely Parasite 4K steelbook. Looks really nice. £29.99. And down here, we have even more lovely 4Ks. We have Westworld, the complete third season, for £39.99. We also have Cinema Paradiso. I haven't seen this, but I've heard it's a classic. And this is £24.99 pennies. And here we have one of those weird Japanese steel books. This one's for The Great Wall. I like the film, it's a really good film, but I really don't like the look of that steel book. I think I'll just leave that there. And down here we have the BGs. That's right, ah ha ha ha, staying alive, baby. You, what's it called? You can mend a broken heart, or you can't mend a broken heart. Not in HMV. Let's pop into the Disney store then. First thing I'm seeing is this Rocket. He looks a bit mean to be Rocket. I don't know. But we do have a Baby Yoda or Mandalorian t-shirt and also an Infinity Glove t-shirt. Here we have a Woody and Bullseye in a nice little display playset. Very nice. And look, there's a, a Mando and a Baby Yoda playset there. Uh, here we have the remote control Grogu. <laughs> that don't sound right. It's a remote control Baby Yoda. That sounds better. And uh, one of the new really nice Mando figures. Uh, you could paint it up a little bit, make it a bit weathered because it looks a bit clean. But it comes in a really nice display box here. Uh, price wise, what's that, £26? So yeah, that's not too bad actually for something of that size. They only had two in stock here, but it uh, looks good. And over here we have uh, Groot, either, is it? I think it's Teenage Groot, almost Baby Groot, I think. Baby Groot, Baby Yoda. Wow, that was nuts. That was nuts. 
totally nuts. I tell you one thing, a mall or a mall, however you want to call it, um, without restaurants, is like a computer without a motherboard. It just don't work because there's nowhere for anybody to sit. The uh, the food court where they do all the takeaways like McDonald's and KFC and everything like that. People have just bought all the food and they're just loitering outside around the lake on the wooden uh, walkway. It's just, it's like, what are you doing there? There's nowhere for them to sit to eat. So they're just loitering over by the river. Yeah, don't work. Uh, it's, it's a little sad seeing all these restaurants closed because uh, it is a thing that brings a lot of people to blue water and other mouths, malls. <laughs> but uh, being in tier three, unfortunately, we're not allowed to have them open. And guess what? Of all the takeaway places that were there, bloody spudgy like was closed. I had a word with um, a nice girl there. She said they've been shut for months um, since the last lockdown. So I don't know why, where, you know, KFC and all the others are open. Uh, I did get a pickup from HMV. Uh, surprised there was a lot of stuff that came out today they actually didn't have in stock. So maybe they're getting it delivered later. I also went looking for the brand new Garth Brooks album, which is called Fun. So I went through the country section on in HMV on the, on the CDs. They had every other artist except Garth Brooks. That's disgusting. That is really disgusting. So I'll have to order that through Amazon. But uh, I did get some food. Of course, there was no flipping spud you like. So I went with Colonel Sanders himself. I got a tower burger or something. Very nice. So I shall... Uh, munch that down in a minute it's actually really warm as you can see i'm i'm red i was sweating walking around in there because i wore my coat it's 16 centigrade as you can see i'm steaming up so i've got to open the window but yeah it's 16 centigrade you don't need to wear a coat in december but uh let's go uh back to dover to our next stop, which will be Tesco's. So I'll see you in Tesco's after I've scoffed down the KFC. Okay, everyone, I'm back to Dover. It's getting a bit overcast and dark outside. Yes, uh, we are at our last stop today. That's right, only two stops today. And uh, hopefully there's not a lady with a trolley just loitering anywhere in Tesco's because that's where we are we're at Tesco's so let's pop in and have a look and hope and pray there's something to look at on the shelves instead of just donuts okay well it looks like we've got a couple of displays here one for Tenet uh, from £10 so we have some blu-rays and lots of dvds and uh, around here we have the witches unfortunately just with dvds but nice to have a couple of little displays but uh, let's go and have a look at the main section. And up the top here we have Tenet on 4K. It actually says 4K and 3D up there. That's nice. Plus Mulan and all the others up there. Uh, we have Tenet on Blu-ray as well. But unfortunately they've put no prices out. And also The Witches is here as well. Obviously with no price. Pinocchio. Uh, Benito. Is it? Ro Roberto Benini? Yeah, whatever his name is. Uh, that looks interesting, actually. I know there's a Tom Hanks Pin uh, Pinocchio coming, isn't there? Uh, the Wolf of Snow Hollow. Bit of a boring cover, but looks interesting. Looks like maybe a bit Fargo or something. Plus also, last Christmas, I gave you my heart. And this morning, I had a big fart. Crock of Gold. This looks like... What is it? Shane McGowan from the Pogues? I don't know what it is. Maybe a concert... Uh, up here we have Unhinged, Dr. Doolittle and Bad Boys for Life. £15 each or any two for uh, £22. So that's a pretty good deal. Down here we have something called Rev. Looks like a bit of a Fast and Furious knockoff. I don't exactly know what it's about or who the hell is in it. Don't recognise any of those. Uh, oh, Vivica A. Fox. She was in Independence Day. And Cinderella After Ever After with David Williams. This is not on Blu-ray. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's only on DVD. 
this looks good. This caught my eye. Dune Drifter. I love the look of this. This is a fantastic artwork. Brilliant cover. I did check the film on IMDb. Um, yeah, maybe I'll leave it. Okay, so we are back in the back bedroom. I've got my ring light going. Pardon? Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> um, okay, what did I pick up today? Uh, well, I only picked one up and I've had one delivery. Uh, as I said earlier on, HMV didn't have everything that was on the list. They actually didn't have any tremors at all, whether it be Blu-ray or the 4K, unfortunately. Yeah, and they didn't have anything else as well. So what you saw in the video is all that they had in stock. So uh, whether they sold them or um, if they are limited. But let's just go through what I've got. I did get one delivered a couple of days ago from um, France. And that is Greenland with Gerald Butler. This is a replacement because the steel book that I got originally uh, had a dent on it. Had a dent uh, right in the back. So I'm going to send the other one back. But I watched this, watched that with my dad. I actually really enjoyed it. It's one of uh, Gerald Butler's better disaster movies. But, uh, yeah, really good. So I'm happy to have that. And uh, I'll send the old damaged one back. Uh, the main pickup from HMV is The Witches. Yes. Haven't seen this. Never saw it at the cinema. Uh, I've got the original as well, so I'll probably do a back-to-back, -back, not a comparison, but companion piece, and uh, see what I think of both of them. Maybe do a dual review. Uh, purple case. But it's in a slip cover, you don't need to. But I want to. Yes, that's The Witches. The other one that I had delivered. What do you think it is? It's Tenet, you fat git. That's right. Tenet. Yes, I had Tenet released. Includes a bonus disc with over an hour of special features. Tenet. The 4K uh, Amazon exclusive steelbook. Really love the design of this. I'm going to unbox this right this moment. Yes, I'm not doing a separate video for it. Uh, why did I get Tenet on Steelbook? Why didn't I get the HMV first edition? Well, as much as I like the design of the first edition, when it comes to Nolan, you've got to go Steelbook or go home. <laughs> Basically, I've got quite a few of his other movies with Steelbook. I've got the Interstellar Steelbook. I've got Inception Steelbook. I've got Dunkirk Steelbook. I've got the, the Dark Knight Trilogy all steel books. Um, I'm trying to get my hands on a prestige, so I'll be getting that one soon. Um, I don't believe Memento has got a steel book. I could be wrong, but uh, certainly not in this country. But uh, yeah, when it comes to Nolan, I always go with steel books. So I've got the really nice design Amazon one. So should we unbox it? Why not? Let's unbox it and look at the dent. <laughs> <laughs> it came in one of those cardboard wraps, not the the wraps where you pull the thing off. Um, it's just like a little cardboard envelope, so you just don't know how it could end up. But it is Amazon, so it should be pretty good. Uh, and if it is damaged, then Amazon's always good for um, replacements. Not like flipping Zavi at the moment. I've had my Lord of the Rings steelbook collection, but I haven't shown it yet because I'm waiting on The Hobbit, which should have been uh, should have been delivered the same day, uh, no later than the 7th of the month. So it's nearly coming up to a week late. So I've continuously messaged Zavi on all platforms. So hopefully they'll get back to me and give me some pathetic excuse. But uh, let's have a look. Let's get the wrapping off. Okay, so first up, there is the lovely front. As you can see, we've got some lovely spot gloss on the tenet there. These are ratings stickers, so they can be removed. Let's take the J card off. 
as it leaves horrible glue residue on the steel book itself. Actually, it doesn't. That's good. Oh, fantastic. That was good. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this. So there we go. 4K Ultra HD. Obviously, no digital code. All about the film up there, specifications and all the gumph and all the usual bits. So the still book itself without the J card. Very nice. Um, I'm glad it's not actually not a glossy still book because otherwise the spot gloss wouldn't stand out. So, yeah, uh, Inception's not glossy either. Uh, and then the spine, Tenet, also spot gloss. And then the back. Uh, just an interpretation of the front with the uh, the the uh, the ratings, you know, the uh, who's in it and all that. Kind of, which credits? What do you call it? Credits? Yes. Oh, and it feels really nice. It feels kind of satiny. Okay, so we do have three discs, all with artwork. It looks like they've all got individual artwork as well, so that's good. Okay, so first of all, there is the steel book. I just love the design of that. It it complements Inception. I should have dug out Inception steel book so you so you could have a look at it. But the Inception steel book is like all the blocks of the building. But that's really nice. And then we get the inside artwork there. Fabulous. And which disc have we got first? Uh, this is the special features disc. So, as I say, we've got uh, different artwork on each of the discs. And then we have the standard Blu-ray. And now we have the lovely 4K. Got to have a bit of a green tint on it, that one. So there we go. There's all three discs in there. So very happy with that. Happy that I've got this with uh, with no damage to it. And um, yeah, happy to stick that with the rest of the collection. As I say, I'm going to be on the lookout for uh, uh, the Prestige. There is a still book, a UK still book for that one. But as for insomnia and memento i don't believe there's steel books in the uk if you know of any steel books internationally let me know please uh, you also get a little leaflet with uh, christopher nolan 4k information on there about the box set and also the individual ones that's the artwork there inception that's the steel book that i've got so uh i've got the rest in steel book but i need to get the prestige Brilliant. I, I hope the uh, the audio is better on the home version. Um, I know not everybody had a problem with it at the cinema, but for me, when he was wearing the um, when he was wearing the mask, like the gas mask, the mu because the music was so loud and there was so much bass, I couldn't hear. You couldn't hear a lot of the dialogue, unfortunately. Uh, and it could have been just the sound system in the cinemas, or it just could have been a really bad mix. But I'm hoping I can. Um, maybe hear a little bit better at home. Uh, but if not, then there's always the optional subtitles. <laughs> but uh, yes, that is Tenet. Fantastic. So my two pickups today, or one pickup and one delivery, Tenet plus The Witches as well. Stick down in the comments what you had delivered today or what you picked up. Uh, did any of you manage to get the Tremors 4K uh, box set from... Arrow, isn't it? Yeah. And also, has anybody had delivery of their Game of Thrones 4K steelbook set? And more importantly, did it come intact? Because that's a lot of money to have something dented in the post. Christ. Knowing Zavi, they'd just throw it in a jiffy bag. <laughs> <laughs> knobs but uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed the video like it by giving it some thumbs up don't forget to subscribe comment and share and um i'll be doing the the um pre six thousand and thank you giveaway in the next within the next week so we'll find out who's going to be the lucky winner of the breaking bad box set the 4k <laughs> 
Back to the Future box set and the lovely collection of Star Wars 4K still books. There's still time to enter if you haven't entered, but don't forget it's only open to residents of the UK. If I do pick someone out and unfortunately you're not in the UK, you're in the bin. Yeah, and I'll have to repick. But uh, it's still open if you want to have a ch uh, want to have a go. If come and have a go if you think you are hard enough. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.